New flat, new surroundings. My assignment was to blend in and make believe I'm indecent with the savages, though my persuasion of loathing ain't anywhere near as hate as I was merely told that's what to look like. It had been a while between cases and my senses were on the beneath as I'd yet to track down the cunny that eludes me. But it doesn't take an egghead to feel when an idiot approaches from behind. You can hear their thoughts like a cat stuck in a blender. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this bark eating, tree hugging, spear fishing, curse believing, rag butt wiping, savage word no one. <laughs> like a stormtrooper that can't hit the side of a barn. My need to keep off the body tray meant I dropped a lead, only able to square him hillside and reap no information off the sap. His lookout was close by, hoping to clean up the liability, but he was driving a drudge straight into my corner, and like a paraphrase, I felt like I was in Bangkok with an axe to grind. <laughs> Paraphrase summed up to a T. It's always uneven footing in the street, waiting like the edge of a knife or a tussle until find its mean snout up in your schnoz by a boar or a bitch. So many tight corners and concealments meant I had to play guesstimation, fielding the coop for the off-color egg souring the basket. But luckily, this bad egg flew the cage and right into the pan. Oh, thank God, if I didn't run, I would have been killed. Rocky, I'm so intelligent that I so fucking rise shall be in. The dark hallway proved best, proving the chaos hidden and hiding the outrage likely to come shitstorming my way if it was found out. But the bad egg's haste left me uneasy, knowing a familiar uneasiness when I felt one, so I took a breather by the fort folk to gather my suspicions. My uneasiness came right. The bad egg wasn't the only off-perp in the bunch as I tracked down another one of the dozen gone madman through the alleys of the city. He was a slippery weasel and chase had to be made, but giving in to shutdown was too noisy, my image would be blown and the nature of my persuasion would leave me dead in the mud. So I had to play chicken, and when there's a chicken nearby, well, then the egg will want nothing more than to go home to mama. Is that really you? I'm so happy I finally found- <laughs> Uh. Hidden Alley played friend again, as egg number two had been cracked into a fine poach. But care had to be taken, and slipping in amongst the kin to wind down the map the digs needed to be done. The downtime meant I was up, my ear out for the feather rustle and the liquid drop bound to happen soon. Two eggs down meant the bacon was nearby, and I'm hungry to sink my teeth into it. In this case, the bacon was a man, a bootlegging scum with sparkling eyes and a price you can sink your teeth into. There's very little I can do to stop this from sounding a bit gay, but that's how you're thinking about it, am I right? A piece of bacon's no good without its eggs, and I caught him trying to track the sorry dopes down, using the advantage to slink in with the fort folks and let him slip past me to get the jump on him. I could have sworn I saw those two around here. Oh well, it looks like I'll just have to turn the other way and keep looking. <coughs> bacon and eggs, and on cue the McMuffin came shooting out like a star on the rise. But he sailed past me, leaving me easy to assume that I was one of little priority, a speck on the flannel of a bigger operation that formed the dirty sheet. My time to ponder was needed, so I snuck back with the kin and let recollection sweep me up like a bristle. The slow back meant new anomalies, like a third egg popping up like a hurdled spear in the midst of a slap fight. He had the same dash as the others, zooming like a speedy train in a Naughty Dog game. Kate, get ow! Why is everybody so fucking angry? <laughs> but as I figured it out, it was too late. The setup worked and I felt patsy, and right then I knew that whoever was behind this needed me for whatever they were up to. The smart thing was to let myself lie, in hopes that I'd wake up and face a true perp, and that when I could slip out, restitch, and report on a new spawn of the night, I'd pray that you'll join me again. 